The Bible says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I'm going to watch to see what he will say unto me, what I shall answer when I am reproved. Here the prophet Habakkuk alludes to what we can call the listening watch. He references a watchman standing upon the walls of the city, set upon a tower to keep watch over the enemies or the tidings that would approach. Instead, though, Habakkuk is speaking about watching to see what he will say unto me. Hence, the listening watch. He's not looking for something physical. He's not looking for something literal. He's not looking for something he can see with his physical eyes, but with the eyes of faith. What has God said? What is God saying? What is God reproving? And dear Christian, dear child of God, I wonder today, are you on the listening watch? Have you run into the name of the Lord, that strong tower, and looked with spiritual eyes upon his word to see what he will say unto you? Have you lifted yourself up above this wicked world to see and perceive what the Lord might be saying to you today? The Bible says, Blessed is that man that waiteth daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. When God opens his mouth, you and I should be like that watchman, looking and expecting and on guard to see what the Lord might be saying when you open the pages of your beloved Bible. Are you opening it? Are you opening those doors? Are you waiting at those gates to see what he will say unto you? And what will you answer when you are approved? Some people don't like the listening watch because it contains reproof. It contains God correcting your behavior, God adjusting your character, God challenging your practice and showing you your sins. The Bible says reproofs of instruction are the way of life. The listening watch is the only way for the Christian today to keep the city God has given him, to keep this piece of earth you inhabit safe from the enemy's onslaught. Are you on the listening watch today, dear Christian? Are you standing above, setting your eyes on God's word, and willing to receive what the Lord will say to you, even if it is a word of reproof? The listening watch is the only way to keep the city. It's the only way to stay on the path of righteousness. Keep watching. God has spoken.